Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate network access protection on Windows Server 2008 using 802.1x authentication. So what you're seeing here is my Windows 2008 server on which I have installed the network policy server rule. And you can run this network policy server by going to Start, All Programs, Administrative Tools, and then clicking on Network Policy Server. Initially, I ran a setup wizard which populated all the fields and variables for all these various policies. To run the wizard, highlight NPS and select to configure network access protection. Now I've already run the wizard, so I won't be going through this again, but I'm just going to demonstrate what the network policy wizard looks like. So I selected for the network to connection method I had selected 802.1x wired and then I just went through the wizard in which you have to specify your radius clients in my case I'm using a Cisco Catalyst switch which has support for 802.1x authentication and I've already entered this information for the switch so if I click on edit you will see the IP address for the switch you need to also specify a shared secret that is shared between the switch and your network policy server and ensure that this secret is entered correctly on the Cisco switch which you will see later on in this tutorial and then we go next and then we I didn't specify any particular users or groups in my case the policy is affecting all users on the domain since this is a test lab we don't really need to configure the groups. I'm going to go next and you have to set up a server certificate. This is a requirement for your network policy server and clients will need to trust this server certificate before logging on. So ensure that your clients trust the certificate authority that issued this certificate here which in most cases is your internal certificate authority server. And the protocol we're using is called PEAP or Extensible Authentication Protocol. Now this protocol allows a client to be able to authenticate with a Windows Active Directory server without having the client without enabling the client full network access. So for example you will only allow a client access to the network and network resources such as file shares, printers, etc if they have authenticated correctly or if their login is correct and also if certain requirements are met for example the Windows firewall needs to be on uh, antivirus needs to be up to date and installed and we will see some of these options later on when we continue so I'm going to go next and here you would need to configure the VLANs that you would like to assign to users who have successfully met the requirements for your network such as an antivirus installed, firewall installed and enabled etc. And then you can also configure a VLAN, a separate VLAN for users who have not met those requirements. So if I go to configure, you have to, you have to configure a number of these options which I won't go through here but I can refer you to an article which provides all the necessary information. So I'm going to click on Cancel. And if you go to the Microsoft website, search for Step by Step Guide to Demonstrate Network Access Protection in a Test Lab. And this will give you the all the information you need to know how to configure network policy servers for 82.1x authentication. Alright. So I'm just going to minimize this and go back to the network policy server. And so if you run through some of the options that were configured by using the wizard, we already said that the switch uh, client IP address needs to be added as a client, as a radius client that is. And then also the wizard automatically creates all the policies. For computers that meet the health policy requirements, for 82.1x authentication these machines 
need to pass all system health validator checks in order to be considered a compliant machine and similarly machines that fail one or more system health validator checks are considered non-compliant based on your compliance level a network policy will be enforced and as I said all of these were automatically created by using the wizard which you can follow, follow along in the Microsoft step-by-step -step guide which I provided earlier so for a wired computer if you're compliant we are saying that the well, first you need to ensure that the policy is enabled by default and we are saying that once you are compliant you should be put into the compliant VLAN which in my case is VLAN 3 so if I go to NAP enforcement I'm allowing full network access which is just a message that displays on the client we want the client to be on this particular VLAN, VLAN 3 if the client is not compliant we want the client to be on VLAN 2 now in order to dynamically assign a VLAN to a particular port your switch needs to be able to support 82.1x authentication so I'm going to close this off and let's take a look at the actual requirements that machines need to meet before they are considered a compliant machine so if I go to system health validator and right click on properties on a system health validator we will see what is required for a machine to be compliant so I'm going to click on configure and I've enabled settings such as if a firewall is enabled and if an antivirus application is on then that that computer can be considered compliant for both Windows Vista Windows XP clients so once all of these requirements are met the firewall and antivirus that machine is considered to be compliant and well their port will be configured automatically for VLAN 3 and on VLAN 3 I have all my servers file servers domain controllers etc on VLAN 2 I can maybe have just maybe a specific server where a machine can go ahead and get updates uh, such as for antivirus updates etc but non-critical servers so in this way we will be using 802.1x authentication to really only allow network traffic on my network where all my servers are located only that machine has authenticated correctly and only if it has met my health policy requirements such as a firewall or antivirus enabled. Let's now take a look at the client and see how we can configure network access protection.